Where am I? It's my bed, right? Yeah, it's my bed. Where the heck am I? Some kind of high state prison. It's one of the locals. Camel? They caught you too? Don't worry, I'm gonna get help. Everyone can pick a house as their own. Beware polar bear moms. Juggerite the elf. So basically Chrysalis had started this off and made little places for everyone. And we're, this one is available. So we're going to take it. And I think... Uh, uh, you know what we can just kind of yeah let's uh let's go ahead and just change the floor here and give it uh, a little wool floor and we can uh, kind of transform this thing and see what we can think of to help contribute to the area here uh, we're definitely a late to the party but uh, you know that doesn't mean that uh, we can't give it a good old college try and see what we can do I, I really think a red floor is gonna help with the uh, Christmas vibe in here I'll have to get some planks and I want to make uh, probably a, a blue bed or some a couple blue beds here and we'll see what else we can come up with so I think a short little boat race would be fun just to see you can maybe do it in the best time and if we come around this path here and we loop around this way there's actually a village right through here Maybe we loop the village. Yeah, that gets cut off. So if we loop this village and come back. <laughs> Maybe have the the start line there and the finish line just the other side of that and maybe see who can do it in the quickest time. Maybe that could be something just for bragging rights for whoever wants to participate. And if we come over to our little deal here, Jugger right the else little deal. Uh, we did get our beds in. I changed out the torch and put a lantern there. Uh, just the one there in the center so as to not melt the walls. And I mean, we have a bed. A big old nice comfy bed. So let's, uh, let's see about this little track deal here. Um, we need a way to... Well, if you race at night, it's going to get dangerous quick. That guy's in armor. That guy's got a chainmail helmet. So, let's kind of see. We could potentially change uh, this side out with the gate. 
so you're coming down and or something or just take I don't know we'll figure that part out but if we want to make this the little starting line then we definitely need uh, I mean red will stick out right uh, we have a lot of green but uh, I think that'll blend in with some stuff let's uh actually we don't want full blocks let's uh, get some carpet here maybe do like every other spot here red and then we'll come back through with some green give it a little Christmassy vibe so everything is ready to go and I have a book here welcome to the forever bedrock Christmas racetrack Please begin at the starting line, race around the village, and your time stops when you make it back past the finish line. The starting line doubles as the finish line. The carpets you follow along the way are just a guide for you for the track. Your race and time still count if you manage to ride outside them. When you're done with your race, add your best time to the next page for bragging rights. You may race as many times as you would like and so we are gonna bring this out here just as the sun's coming down <laughs> and we've got our starting line here I would like to get some uh, a little more detail on this but uh, I need to go find some wood for that so I don't have to fly all the way back to base and then we are going to take a ride on the track and see what kind of time we can get. Now we're all complete. Looks a little bit better. The book is in the barrel with the instructions and where we're going to keep our score. So the second we begin moving, our time starts and it will stop and be complete once we uh oh you can't uh oh you can't ride the boats over carpet interesting so i thought for sure boats could go past the carpet So you start backed up to the carpet and when you move your time starts and I'm gonna be honest with you guys I do not have a lot of ice boat experience uh, so our time is not going to be very good and as you can see I'm already like sticking and spinning out on everything there we go nice little straight away let's not hit nothing and as I say that <laughs> I bang on all the sides If I can get straight, we'll be good. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, and I'm off the track. My time is still going, but because you can't cross over carpet, that makes uh, that's a that makes going off track a pretty big penalty. 
much because you have to squeeze your way back in so you would have to be so you know you'd have, if you're better at this than me uh, it's probably not that big of a deal <laughs> Oh no, we got zombie villagers out here. I'm not sure how that happened. They were all alive. I don't think I was close enough at nighttime for it to be looted. Uh, zombie with armor or something may have wandered in and started the infestation. Oh man, I'm having the hardest time making this loop. And around the village, oh, we made it around. Oh, I just picked up some XP. And we got stuck in the snow. That's gonna detain us a little bit at least we're moving at least we're moving this is gonna be <laughs> this is my first time doing it so um, I wanted to share it with you guys hopefully uh, I mean if I give it a couple more goes hopefully my time will be a little bit better Oh, I picked up a villager. Oh, this may be the... Oh, this may be the way to go here. Just want to get back on the track. I'm still not steering it any better. <laughs> ah. And I'm sure some of you guys are watching this and just shaking your heads. Especially, uh, especially if you started out uh, ice boating a little bit better than me. Boom, there we go. Time stops when you hit the carpet. And uh, yeah, that, that's how we do it. So what I'd have to do is I'd have to actually get the time in editing. So I'm going to run this a couple more times. I'll drop the villager off when I get over there. I didn't mean to pick him up and um yeah once i do that i'll let you guys know what my uh best time was and uh we'll put it in the book if i can get uh lined up for the start there we go and uh, I'll see you guys with the uh, time okay our first time out was 434.19 which was not that great our second time around we were able to get 318.28 which was marginally better and our third time around we got 222.43 which uh, is basically twice as good as our first time so so a little bit of practice and I could probably be pretty good at this. Uh, definitely third person point of view is the way to go. Uh, for some reason for me it just seemed to make it run a little bit better. So we want to put our time in the book. There's our time all set to go and we'll put it back in the barrel. 
I probably won't do it again um, in spirit of the competition unless uh, you know we just happen to have some other members here and it becomes a thing but uh, where you know I have to try and outdo somebody else's time I'm sure most members are probably better gonna be better at that than me which I'm perfectly fine with thank you guys so much for joining me I hope you enjoyed this video Merry Christmas to those that celebrate happy holidays Happy Hanukkah, whatever, 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 you know, whatever it is that uh, you do, whatever your thing is. I hope you're, you're having a wonderful, wonderful day and it's the best ever for you. If you enjoyed today's video, you're still watching, why don't you give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends? That goes a long, long ways and I can't thank you guys enough. And if you hit that subscribe button and watch the video on the end card, that makes a huge difference too and I will see each and every one of you in the next video.